Are those all zombies or are those people? Uh, they're like zombies. They just, <laughs> they just have to be like very like. They're just very people looking zombies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up? Damn, people. look at all these people. I'm not even doing shit. I'm on IG Live right now, by the way. So don't don't say any spoilers. Where are you going? I didn't show that I look okay. You look terrible. Hi. Wait, is that real? No, that's Bob the drag queen with that verified check mark. That shit real? Sometimes. Because <laughs> sometimes they be tripping. Is that Bob Wolf? Hey, Bob. What's up, Bob the drag queen? Fuck yes, Bob. Everyone, go say hey to Bob. She's calling me mom because you guys may not know this, but I actually physically gave birth to Bob. No epidural, nothing. No cesarean, no C-section. I pushed that bitch right out this fucking pussy. I said, Bob, <laughs> notice me. When are you going to ask me to come to Brazil, Bob, so I can come and see you? You guys are cute. Just chilling in the, <laughs> just chilling in the, the crib right now. Um, had a little moment, just finished a little morning meeting. Gonna go and get some exercise. Normally go to the gym, but it's, a, it's about to be like 80 degrees in Chicago. So we go go to the lake, Kenny. Well, it's too late. I already told him we're going to the lake. So if you want to come find a bitch, come find her at the lake. Now, the lake's long, so you don't know where I'm going to be at at the lake. You don't know how soon I'm going to be at the lake, but... I don't know, maybe in the next hour or so. Just run around being like, Shay! Yes, Lake Day. Yes, Brazil. Yes, I'm right by Hollywood. Yes, Hollywood Beach. Yes, I do <laughs> have two Twitters. The reason why I have two Twitters, you guys, okay? Well, the first one got hacked. And then I tried to talk to Twitter, but they were like, we'll get back to you in 24 hours. And homeboy that had like hacked the Twitter was like posted all these fake spoilers. I'm freaking out. So I was like, I need a new Twitter to let these people know that that ain't the real Shea Coule. And then um, I mentioned, you know, I was like sad that I didn't have my Naomi Campbell follow. And then the fans were like, yo, what's up? Like Naomi follow Shay on this new Twitter. And then the motherfucker who hacked my Twitter went and blocked Naomi. So I lost that follow. And then I wound up getting access to my Twitter back. And thank you guys for being, you know, so trill because uh, uh, Naomi did follow Queen Shea Coulee. And uh, <laughs> she does, she no longer follows uh, Shea Coulee. So I literally keep the Queen Shea Coulee. Uh, handle just because it has a Naomi Campbell follow and I just I can't lose that twice and I also don't want y'all going and being like hey girl go back and follow Shea Coulee because then she probably won't because if I was Naomi I'd be like quit telling me how to live my life hi South Africa what's up Poland guys it is starting to get oh thank you Afro Obscura it is seriously starting are you feeling hot like, are you starting to be like, it's hot in there? Yeah. Yeah. Paraguay. Yes. You guys are really cute. Um, God, it's Tuesday. About to go to Phoenix. So, um, all you folks out in Phoenix, uh, come say hey to your girl. I'm going to be at the grand opening of Bolt Nightclub. So, get your tickets now. Hi, Austria. Hey, Argentina. Um, we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna turn the party, it's gonna be cute. Um, I'm gonna be there in two days on the 18th, and then on the 19th, I'll be at Necto and Ann Arbor for, uh, Pride. Uh, yes, I will be out in San Fran and San Jose. Those dates will be coming soon. Um, a lot of these places, uh, I'll be hitting up this summer because, uh, Pride season is about to, like, go into full force, so it's about to get lit. It's about to get real cute. I'm gonna be coming to San Diego for San Diego Pride. So I will see you guys there. That's like, I think I'm going to be in San Diego in like a week or so, sometime soon. Or no, I think I'm, I'm in San Diego like right at the top of June. Um, 
but yeah, guys, uh, so I haven't been active much and haven't gone live. I've been just like working a lot. And when I like work, I get in like work mode and I get like so focused. I do have a couch. I'm like, uh, spacebound rocket ship, happy birthday. Um, DC Pride, I will be at DC Pride June 11th. So you guys can catch me out there. You can catch me at DragCon in New York. Um, you can catch me, uh, London. I'll be there May 30th for the Work the World Tour. Um, yeah. So, I'll be seeing you guys. I'll be getting around. Um, yeah, I've just been traveling domestically, but I leave for Montreal in, like, two weeks. Like, two and a half weeks. And then I'll be in London and then after London, I go to Seattle. And then after Seattle, I think it's Sacramento. And then after Sacramento, I think it's San Jose, but don't quote me. Um, unfortunately, Anthony, I will not be at Chicago Pride or Market Days. I'll be in NYC for Pride June 23rd and 24th, I think. But the 24th is like, eh. <laughs> London is May 30th. I don't. The, like, the, honestly, the reason why uh, Bar Barbo writes... Okay. The, I remember these dates sometimes, like, maybe, like, two weeks out. So, but, but normally, I, I, you ask me dates, and I have to, like, really uh, uh, pull up the calendar. Um, I hope I can come to Puerto Rico soon. I haven't been to Puerto Rico in, um, fucking forever. Um, Scotland I've never been. Toronto I'm coming. Uh, hopefully Brazil will work itself out. I wish I could be coming to Amsterdam, but I cannot make that leg on the Work the World Tour now. But who knows, Amsterdam could be, uh, cute. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode, uh, The Roast. Um, that was really fun. <laughs> it was it was really cute to get the chance to uh, roast Michelle Visage and roast the girl. I mean, honestly, I think the world of Michelle. I think she's really cool, and I look up to her a lot. I She's kind of like... I mean, she's like Ruth's bestie. She's Ruth's, like, you know, right hand. And so I feel like in so many ways, it's, like, just as important to impress Michelle as it is to impress Rue. And um, I was really, really, really intimidated by Michelle probably up until maybe, like, episode, like, five or six. Um, and this one was kind of, like, nerve-wracking because I'm just like, now I gotta, like, make fun of her, but also, like, make it funny. And I was just like, hopefully she's just, like, really cute. What's the tea with Nina Bonina? The tea with Nina Bonina is, uh... I don't know if there really is any tea. I mean, we talk. Like, me and Nina do talk. Um, I text her, uh... And we already, I mean, I'm sure you guys are, like, referring to what happened in Untucked. And we already, like, talked about that, uh, like, after we got back from filming and kind of just, like, you know, went over and had a conversation about it. And, you know, the competition's tough. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there are moments during filming, I know where I felt mad, paranoid. I mean, I didn't really, like, talk about it or, like, say anything to anybody about it, but there was definitely moments where I was feeling, like, mad, paranoid. <laughs> and think of that, you know, people were out to get me, but I was, like, able to kind of quickly, like, check that and be like, no, girl, just, like, stop and, like, live your life and have fun. So, um, 
you know, it's a it's a it's a battle. I mean, only the people who have been through Drag Race like fully understand like what that is like, and it's really hard mentally like keeping your like your mind in the game of this competition and not being near like friends and family and like your support system can be really isolating and difficult um but i got mad respect for nina nina is really a cool person she really is um she has her moments just like i have my moments but uh, at the end of the day, I really respect Nina. I respect Nina's art. And I think Nina's a cool person. Um, it sucks that we didn't really get a chance to, like, bond more during the competition. Uh, because I don't think that, personally, I don't really think <laughs> that Nina was really into my friendship. But for some reason, I just had my eyes set on Nina. And I think I kind of tried to force my friendship on her a little bit. So for that, you know, I realized in retrospect, like, I came on a little strong. And I can imagine for someone who already has trouble trusting other drag queens and um, is a little bit paranoid why she would be suspect of me. So I get it. But we've talked about it, and we're cool, so. Skank spam. How did I give any of that away? <laughs> That'd be nice. Thoughts on Aja? Aja brings like such a smile on my face. Um, Aja has such like a great personality. I. I, <laughs> she really just has a way of lining up the room and she brings just like, she, like, Aja turns the party and that's what I love about Aja. Like, what you see is like what you get. She doesn't front, she doesn't, she's not about any bullshit. Aja keeps it real. Aja's like mad cool. And I mean, we had met each other like briefly before. And uh, I liked her the second I met her. It was the same on the show. And I like her now. Yes, shake off that zombie. I know, we massage and untucked too. Hold on one second. <laughs> My favorite guest judge? You'll have to wait and see. I'll tell you about that. Thoughts on Trinity. Trinity is a motherfucking Tuck Taylor. I think Trinity is one of my favorite people because I always really, I always really like uh, um, people that surprise me. And the first day meeting Trinity, Trinity came in, I think, like right after right after like maybe like two i think she came in like right after me and i remember meeting her just seeing her immediately and thinking like okay well this girl's gonna be a bitch i'm probably going to have problems with her um and it couldn't have been further from the truth like she's one of the funniest people she tells it like it is like whoo like i feel like we're all like really nice people i try my hardest to always be like as diplomatic as possible and i think trinity has the ability to be like diplomatic too but she still definitely like really gives you her opinion which is uh cute and nina spilt spilt some tea nina's floor is wet with tea when is nina not spilling tea that's what <laughs> that's something you can come to expect from her all the time yes i did see the snl skit about drag race that was cute that was cute who's on my shirt alexis michelle is on my shirt come to amsterdam we shall see uh we're in talks about possibly reddit thoughts i uh i i do my best to stay away from reddit because uh i don't know 
I don't know. I just. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, liking Lipstick City. It was a lot of fun. Come to London. We can give you crumpets. Uh, have a little crumpet and tea. Have a good time. Go, go over the pond. Go to London. Have a little bit of crumpets and tea. A little bit of figgy pudding. I hope you see this. I love you. Uh, I don't have a drag mother. Self-taught. Bam! Is Rue actually nice or is she secretly not? Rue is so nice. Maybe, maybe I'm just like absolutely smitten and starstruck, but the moment that I met Rue, I really liked Rue. Because I was really nervous. I was really nervous about um, meeting Rue, and Rue was just like mad cool. I'm like, Rue was mad cool. And I was like really nervous because like, you know, you go to like meet your idols and people that you, um, you know, your heroes and, you know, people will say, oh, it's not going to be what you think. And they were right. It wasn't what I thought. It was even better. Um, yeah. And I think Rue is such an amazing business person, such a talented person and such a game changer and for me this whole experience has been just absolutely life-changing and i have rupaul to thank for that so i literally have nothing but the nicest most amazing things to say about rupaul rupaul just like mother So many comments. I'm, I like him having trouble keeping up. Uh, yes, Dubai. Um, how's my head? Amazing. What do I do for fun other than drag? Drag is just a really big part of my life right now. I feel like anything that I do outside of drag is to just try and find inspiration for drag. So I guess um, going to uh, like art museums, seeing exhibits on fashion, art. I was at the Broad in LA after um, DragCon and that was amazing. Getting a chance to see Keith Haring and Basquiat and all these Jeff Koons and like really amazing artists was inspirational and I took a lot from it, so. My favorite pizza topping would be both bacon and pineapple. No, I don't put ketchup on my hot dog because, bitch, I'm from Chicago. Um, I've been doing theater, honestly, since I was, like, nine years old. Uh, started off performing, dancing, took dance class, continued doing theater well into college, did it in high school, you know. Um, it was just an uh, opportunity for me to meet friends and meet like artistic other kids that were a little bit more sensitive and understood me because I was like a really sensitive and kind of quirky kid and got uh, bullied a lot when I was younger. So, um, you know, theater was an escape and it was a, it was a way for me to like play into the fantasy and I always liked um, make believe. Obviously, I still like make believe. So. Um, it just kind of led me along a path of expression to get where I am now. Um, did you love the Little Shop of Horrors though? Yes, I love Little Shop of Horrors. I actually played Audrey too when I was 17 in Little Shop of Horrors. I love that show. 
Uh, my favorite part of doing drag, I would have to say, like, now is um, living out, like, my ultimate fantasies. Uh, when I started drag, there was, I believe in, like, uh, Adler's theory of self-actualization. And when I started drag, I had a very specific image um, of myself and how I wanted to be as a drag queen. And that was five years ago. And I, I feel like I'm still still getting there but because of this opportunity and because of you know just how things are changing so rapidly and becoming so cool i get to like really kind of like reach that potential and get there a little bit closer so plans bonjour comment ça va Thoughts on Sasha? My thoughts are filled with Sasha every day. Um, I it's it's nice all the vote of confidence uh, that everyone's. It's nice to hear that people are rooting for me. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I it it's um. It's surreal and it's a lot to take in because so much has changed in my life so fast. And to have all these people all of a sudden like really rooting, rooting for you can um, be really humbling because it's a lot to take on because, you know, you're uh, you say, <laughs> I don't know, I guess rooting for yourself or something, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's nice, and it's cool, and I have you guys to thank for that, so thanks for being so, uh, cool, and awesome, and supportive, and, you know, drawing pictures, and making fan art, and, you know, posting nice comments, it's, it's, it's nice, so... Um, I think that I'm about to go because have some things to get done with the day. It's nice to like chat with you guys and hang out for a little bit, but, um, I got shit to do. So I will catch you guys later and, uh, until next time, see you.